Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message for new love, someone who's brand new in your life or who will be coming in. I already posted the past love reading, so make sure you check that out if that feels good. Just remember that energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. Okay, so if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit. How does this new person feel about Aquarius? Okay, we have the 10 of pentacles. We have the magician. Could be dealing with a Gemini or a Libra. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords. So there's definitely someone here. Aquarius, yeah, I see the Two of Pentacles at the bottom. Definitely someone here who wants to build something here with you. Now, I do love readings. Love can be friends. It can be family. Um, it can be romantic. So take it as it resonates. But there's someone here who, it could even be like someone who's already a friend. Um, it could be younger than you. They don't have to be, but it's this person feels like they've manifested you. They feel like they finally um, have some sort of connection here in front of them that they can see lasting and that they want to build on. Um, yeah, this person feels like, I am hearing we're solid, we're solid. So this person wants to build a solid foundation with you. They want to make sure you know that they're dependable, they're reliable, that, you know, and even with this page of pentacles here, it's like this person might be a strong believer that, you know, being friends first, if this is romantic, is really important. They, they want to have that friendship as well, not just the romance. But tell me about this eight of swords, because this person's overthinking something. We have the eight of wands, eight, eight here. We have the high priestess, Pisces energy. You know, I feel like I'm seeing the six of cups at the bottom. I feel like this person has like a strong desire to just like move things forward here with you. I feel like this person wants to talk to you all the time. I feel like they want to spend all their time with you. I feel like um, they're ready. But at the same time, there's a lot of wondering if you are sort of feeling the same way. If the past will repeat itself here is how this feels like this person is like intuitively they feel really good about moving forward they feel like okay i i don't i i see all i need to see with aquarius i feel good about this i feel like i've manifested this i feel like this is someone i can build something strong with um but there's something here too about like moving too fast too it's like if we move too fast will it fall apart will it well, what happened has happened, say whatever their history is with friends or relationships or what have you, where they've moved too quickly or they've trusted people too quickly or what whatever it might be. Um, I feel like this person also gets really nervous to like what to say to you. Um, I feel like they could even sort of like have pep talks with themselves before they, or they're, you know, if they're texting you, they like write it and then they edit it and then they rewrite it. And then they're really thinking about what they're saying before they're saying it. Um, because this person feels drawn to you here with the high priestess and the magician, like on both ends here, these major arcanas, it's like this person really feels like the inner work that they've done, their intuition is guiding them to something better, something strong. And they feel like that's you. They feel like they've been working towards having this kind of connection here. So I feel like this person feels really grateful. Um, they might even tell you that, that they're very grateful to have you in their life. Um, 
and and they're sort of ready like i said to move it along here but they don't want to repeat mistakes and also are still trying to understand where you're at here especially if this is a friend who maybe wants more um but for sure they want that that friendship to start with here I feel like if you're an overthinker, Aquarius, and this you tell this person, like you open up to them and let them know, they're sort of like shocked by this. They're like, I don't, they see you as, they're just really surprised that someone like you would overthink. So I feel like they see you as very intelligent, very intuitive yourself, someone who's worked really hard to get where they are someone who believes in the power of manifestation, like you have a lot of knowledge, I feel. I'm getting like hermit energy a little bit here. Um, and this person gets surprised, like you, you overthink Aquarius? Like what are you overthinking about? Um, but this person does it as well. Let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions? We have the nine of pentacles, the seven of pentacles. So it could be Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the King of Pentacles. Look at all of these pentacles coming out. So again, this is someone who's very practical. There's a lot of, um, you know, I, I feel like this is someone who's not, there is going to be communication. You see how I'm even like having a hard time getting out what I'm trying to say? That's that Eight of Swords. I feel like this person is like, could trip over their words or... Someone could have a stutter even. Um, so this person's a doer. This person's someone who I feel like wants to show you that they can step up. So doing is, you know, maybe like acts of service, like helping you out when you need it or, you know, bringing you lunch on lunch break or making the effort to call first or text first, right? Like they're doing, like they're, they're showing you with their actions that they're interested in here. I feel like this person is very generous here. Um, they are looking for something to invest in. And this person feels like <laughs> it's almost like they feel like they can skip some steps here with you. Like I'm just, I don't know why I'm seeing like an arrow from the nine of pentacles to the king of pentacles. It's like this person could have been single for a long time, very independent, works very hard on their own, enjoys their work, you know, has, has created a good life for themselves, but how they feel about using the Ten of Pentacles, they're trying to build something here with you. It's almost like they feel like they're ready to jump from being independent to being this very generous person, to giving to this connection, to letting you know they want to invest in this. Um, they're, they're And that Eight of Wands too, like it's like this person feels like they can skip some steps with you. So you might even feel like that with this person. Like, um, oh, normally when I date, you know, I date for three dates before... Um, fill in the blank, whatever. But you're like, with this person, I feel like after the first date, I feel so comfortable or, you know, we're already talking about certain things or whatever it might be. This person feels it with you too. Like they really want to show you that they're invested here. Um, tell me more about that King of Pentacles. This one wanted to come out. The Knight of Pentacles, again, with all this practical energy, I see the Ten of Cups at the bottom. So this is someone who... It's so interesting because it's like, again, ready to move forward with you, doesn't want to move too fast to make any mistake, feels like they can skip steps here with you, but also wants you to know like they're really not going anywhere. This is like, I don't think this kind of energy has ever come out like this before Aquarius. Like this person's a solid person. This person might be the type of person where you see like a lot of people depend on them or a lot of friends or family knows that they'll always help out. Um, and not that they're, you know, um, being walked over or anything like that. I feel like this person is just generous. They're generous with their time, with their energy. This person wants to build something real here with you. Um, so how they feel is, you know, they could, they are ready for the next step right away. They feel like they can just, you know, skip some steps and just be with you, show you. But they still want to make sure that the two of you are building a solid foundation, not rushing so much that it falls apart before you can have something good here. Um, this person wants to show you that they're loyal, that they are dependent. Um, it looks good for their actions here, but I do want to see their intentions. 
uh, just to get a deeper understanding here. So expect, um, they are asking, pull, tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. They're asking me to pull on that, so I will, and I'm with this deck. Okay, we did get the Devil, Capricorn energy, the Four of Swords. So again, I feel like it goes to overthinking here. I feel like this person, th there's a fear here. It's almost like, It's almost like this person is trying to be extra practical, extra logical, extra grounded in how they're approaching this. Because if they haven't been before and they've led with emotion before, it, they've wound up in a really bad situation. So I feel like this person is like, like they're almost like having talked with themselves about make sure you don't give too much too soon or make sure you know, you're know you not overly generous to the point where Aquarius gets so used to it in the beginning and then takes advantage of it. Not that you would Aquarius, but I feel like it's again, it's a fear here. Tell me about the devil. It's a fear. Three of cups, strength, ace of pentacles. So yeah, it, it, this person might have money to be honest with you, Aquarius. They might have really established themselves. They've worked really hard. They don't want to be taken advantage of here. They don't want a, someone to play games with them here. This is a fear that they're trying to overcome themselves because you can't start new without starting new, right? With this Ace of Pentacles. Like, I feel like there's something to do with money or assets here. This person could worry that... Um, I, I just feel like their status or how much money they make um, could be something that has been an issue in the past or has has been a point of conflict in the past or something like that like this person is like i just don't want that to be repeated again so i mean the, the king of pentacles is someone who's uh, could be very wealthy right a business person an entrepreneur they got the nine of pentacles here too like this person could um fear that there's some like they, they like it's just being taken advantage of here but the ten of cups is on the bottom twice for both of these decks here. So I feel like there is potential here to have something solid and to grow into something more emotional, but I feel like this person's taking a very practical approach. Um, but they do wanna offer you something here. So an ace has come out of nowhere. So Aquarius, if you're sitting there like, there's no one in my life right now, I have no idea who this could be. I mean, the universe has infinite ways of bringing us someone. We just have to sort of take that inspired action. Right, so go for that walk, say yes to that invite, get on that dating app, whatever it might be. Um, but let's see their intentions. What is this person's intentions with Aquarius? Oh my, okay. There's that Eight of Wands again, the Six of Cups, the Tower, Scorpio energy. Definitely wanna move things along here. The Ten of Swords, the Three of Wands, the four of wands. So, you know, this person's really trying to leave the past in the past. That's their intention here. I feel like they're they're not trying to let the past hold them back. They're not trying to let the, it's like, what's that saying? Like, don't let the fear of failing stop you from trying or something like that. Like, it's like that. Like, I feel like this person is really, what are they looking forward to here with you is taking it to that next level, right? I feel like they're, you see how both this Ten of Swords and the Three of Wands are looking forward to the Four of Wands and look how happy these people are. That's what this person wants. That's what they're looking forward to here. They know there has to be a transformation here. I feel like this person could even talk to you a lot about their past. It's almost like they want you to know. It's almost like they want you to understand why they are the way they are. Um, so there, I feel like this person's Whenever I see the eight of wands, especially this one, I feel like this is like a bunch of, this person might be the type of person to send messages in clumps like that rather than one big message. Um, I, this person wants to sort of move past that. It's a, it's a combination of wanting to move past their past, but also let you know about it so that you can understand them. Um, yeah, this person's ready to move on. I don't know what this 10 of swords is. Tell me about that Ten of Swords. What was that? Because I feel like this person's not trying to um, dwell on it. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. This person's trying to see the bright side of it. I see the Nine of Swords at the bottom. This could have been like a very anxiety-inducing situation. Maybe they just ended something or there was some sort of betrayal 
or something like that. I feel like this person is trying to see it more positively. They're trying to say, well, what did I gain from that? Right? Like what, what was good from that? Look out for eight, eight, um, and look out for six, six as well. This person is just trying to focus on their happiness. And I feel like you're a big part of that Aquarius. Cause right away, this person feels like they can build something with you. They're looking forward to taking it to the next step. I feel like they want, I feel like this person wants to spend a lot of time with you. They just don't want to come off like too strong or again, be taken advantage of in some way. Tell me about the potential outcome with Aquarius and this person. Oh, look at that, the Hierophant. I mean, if you're looking for commitment, this is the card you want to come out for a potential outcome. We have Taurus energy, right? I feel like, again, this person's a solid person. All of this Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy coming out, this is someone who's very grounded, um, someone who's very practical, someone who's very generous, very giving, someone who's down to earth, might really enjoy nature, um, work with their hands, things like that. There's there's definitely potential for commitment here because that's what this person wants. This person doesn't want something flighty. They don't want something that's unsure. Um, they just don't know if you are sure. Tell me more about potential outcome. The, look at this, the Queen of Cups. This is, some, I just got chills, Aquarius. This is someone who just... I feel like just wants to be loved for who they are and not what they have or what they can do. This person can ha can do and, and may have a lot, but that's not what they want to be loved for. I feel like that they may have been loved for that in the past or used for that in the past, I guess I should say. I, I feel like this is a very deep connection that's coming in and I don't, I don't even think you see it coming, <laughs> Aquarius. I don't think you see it as that. Even maybe at first with this person, you might think they're more just like a friend. It might be someone who's not usually your type or something like that. Um, it, it could be a work situation. It doesn't have to be. I feel like this person is very established though. I feel like it's coming out of nowhere. And I feel like this person has a lot of love to give. I feel like you both just have this ability to sort of be empathetic with each other's situations. Like you might hear something they've been through and been like, wow, like I'm just so you know, um, in awe of how far you've come. And I feel like they do the same thing for you. Like it's genuine. It's really genuine. It feels like you both just have big hearts and you both want the same thing here. So this looks really good, Aquarius. So be excited. Um, how will Aquarius know who this is? The Knight of Swords, someone who, again, might in be impulsive at times. We got that 10 of Pentacles. Um, someone who wants something long-term. There's that eight of swords again. And temperance, Sagittarius energy. This is someone who's trying to balance their mind. They're not trying to like let their mind over. I mean, here's the thing about thoughts is that we all have them all day, every day, right? So this person's thoughts at times could say things like with that devil card, like what if this person takes advantage again or don't move too fast or that was the wrong thing to say, you know, think about it first or whatever it might be. And this person is trying to be more balanced with that. It's like, don't say something you don't mean and don't, but don't overthink it too much. Like they're really just trying to find the middle ground here. But this is someone who wants long-term. This is someone who's, I feel like very family oriented as well. Um, any advice for Aquarius? Any advice? Wow. The King of Cups and Death, Scorpio energy here. What is your advice to meet this person halfway? We have the King and Queen of Cups here to transform maybe the way you've been looking at connections or how you've been going about them. I feel like you. this is your match, Aquarius. And, and the funny thing is, is I, I feel like you don't feel that way at first. For whatever reason, again, you might feel this person is just a friend or you, or maybe they've been a friend. Um, they, I, I get something like it might not be your type, your usual type, or you might meet them in a very unconventional way or something like that. But there's transformation here with endings come new beginnings. And I feel like the two of you really balance each other out and the two of you really care for each other. So open yourself up here. Um, this is just making me really happy. This that the king and queen of cups came out here. King and queen of love, right? Um, 
Also, don't be afraid to show interest to this person with this King of Cups. Right? It's all about balancing your masculine and feminine energy. Um, so don't be afraid to, to let them know how you feel as well. Any messages for Aquarius? Distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. So this could be a long distance connection. Um, perhaps. Water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, lots of that. Not a lot of fire in this reading, but doesn't mean they're not a fire sign. Mercury retrograde, electronic issues, communication issues, review everything. So consider everything. Intuition. So this card says the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite late, later. But the high priestess card for me is the intuition card. And it's it doesn't speak to me about red flags in this reading. I feel like just there's something here intuitively. But let me just pull on that. And what about intuition? The emperor, the devil. We did get that devil card again. Tell me more. Justice, Libra energy, the eight of cups. So uh, there could be some other situation here, um, some legal situation this person is dealing with or what have you. Um, I don't think that's fully done here. Um, tell me more about that. The five of wands, yeah, there's something this person could be fighting fighting with, someone they could be fighting with, or some sort of legal battle here. Um, this could be you too. This doesn't even have to be related to this person. If there's a past situation that you've walked away from um, with someone who was quite toxic or quite stubborn, it could be an Aries, Capricorn, or a Libra, somewhere where there's a lot of fighting, a lot of tension, I feel like it's not finished um it's so funny because the readings lately have really been i'll get like one specific energy straight through and then right towards the end another one will kind of like come and sneak in it's like a little side message and that's what i feel like this is tell me more about that the five of cups yeah it's something from your past here it's something from the past something that makes you feel down something that you're getting five five here a lot of conflict Something you walked away from, or, or like I said, it could be this person. If you're like, there's nothing coming to mind, no ex, no legal situation, no drama with someone from the past that was like dysfunctional, then don't take it if it doesn't resonate, but it is coming out for a reason. I feel like um, <clears throat> there was a lot of guilt tripping and there was a lot of like pointing fingers and blaming in whatever this connection was. Um, or maybe this is someone you're currently connected to right now and you're noticing that. So um just only take that if it if it resonates, Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius. It's so funny how that keeps happening. We got communicate clearly. So speak up. Let this person know. And then we got forgiveness. This could even be of that past situation too. Um, I'm seeing within the next few weeks at the bottom. But um, yeah, forgiveness here. Sometimes it's it's even harder to forgive ourselves rather than other people. Right? Like, how did I let that happen? How did I let this person treat me that way? Or whatever it might be. But forgiveness is, is so key. It, it opens doors. Because <clears throat> then you got humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So focusing on the good um, rather than, you know, not to not, not to ignore the bad or maybe the more negative experiences, but not letting them overtake anything. We got patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Oh, I said one more. And then we got empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. I'm not surprised that card came out. Um, and then denial just sort of tried to fall out here. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Empathy, I'm not surprised because of that king and cups, king and queen of cups coming out here, Aquarius. Um open to seeing both sides of a situation. Again, that could even be to that past situation, seeing where the other person might be coming from, forgiving, moving on that way. Um, but this, the empathy really sh like shone through here. Um, being able to put yourself in someone else's shoes and understand, it's not easy to do. Because look at this, you got don't let your past hold you back. There's something about the past here. Even if there's not a person that you're currently connected to or talking to, 
as soon as I pulled that card, if someone came to mind or a past situation came to mind and you were like, oh, like I haven't talked to that person in years or haven't visited that situation, but they came to mind. It came to mind for a reason. And so Spirit's really asking you to identify whatever it is from the past here. Maybe it's your own fears too. Um, and letting it go. Don't let pride get in your way. And then you also got communication is key. So again, about the communication here. I think the oracle is really going to help us with this one. But messages for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Thank you. Thinker. That doesn't surprise me. Number 44. Uh, TikTok, number 30. And Peace, number 23. All uprights today, which I'm, I'm loving. So let's see. Let's read these. If you still have uh, questions though, Aquarius, and you need more clarity, make sure you check out my link in the description box for Mystic Sense. There you can connect to a love psychic of your choice and your first five minutes with them are completely free. Okay, so let's see. So Thinker says, love is not logical, but when you choose a partner, it is good to have things in common other than desire. This is a time to weigh the pros and cons of your partnership. If there's enough common ground, go for it. If not, there are other fish in the sea. Don't force it to work. And should others tell you who they are, take them at their word. Now is not the time to indulge in a fantasy. No matter what, in this case, the facts are the facts. So strategy being analytical and logical. And I feel like that's exactly what I was getting with this person. Like they're trying to take a very grounded approach with this. Um, but maybe so are you, Aquarius. So let's see. Love, the fulfillment of desire, and even the body's reproductive cycles have their own timetable. Some things are preordained and cannot be coerced. Everything has its season, its divine and appropriate timing, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Remember that you always have enough time for love, to find it, to nurture it, to give it, and to receive it. Its clock is eternal and ticks according to the beating of your heart, in perfect rhythm. Isn't that wonderful to know? Love is always right on time. I love that. Especially if it feels like it's, you know, taking forever Aquarius or it'll never happen. It's definitely happening. Expect the unexpected here. Um, and I feel like you will be very fulfilled with this person. Because then you also got peace. When two people are in true alignment with one another, they have an innate harmony between them. There is two perfectly tuned instruments playing together. Sometimes it's impossible to tell who is who. Peace is yours and it is to be savored. So freedom from attachment, radical acceptance. Yeah, so I'm not surprised again because that King and Queen of Cups really speaks to this type of energy here, Aquarius. So, um, and you know what? This little dove is holding an olive branch. So you... I feel like that could pertain to extending an olive branch to someone or maybe someone will to you from the past here. And and it might sort of be instinct to not want to forgive this person or to keep the fight going or whatever it might be. But I feel like Spirit's asking you to accept or extend that olive branch, whatever it might be. Um, but either way, you're going to have peace with this new person. You might be seeing feathers as well. Look out for feathers. Um or even if you see a dove. Because this egg represents something new. Something new happening here. Okay, so these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe of the past person. Um, just take it as it resonates. Uh, birth date, significant dates. If something here doesn't resonate, though, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got A. B, Y, I, N, M, I again, the number six, seven, and eight. Okay, Aquarius, so I hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. I am sending you so much love and light.